Dean, what are your thoughts on Father Chris's inauguration today? Well, Bryce, I was thinking that it's such a blessing that our campus can have a pivotal leader in this pivotal time. You see, we're coming at a time where secularization is pushing against the walls of Christianity, and we are looking as a faith and a community to establish a stronghold against these secular ideas. It's a very important event because uh, we begin now a new era. Father Christopher is building now on a very solid foundation created by his predecessor and has himself a vision and the power and the creativity to just proceed and therefore the significant enhancement of the school on all levels would have immediately an impact on the church, on the love of the church in America. The inauguration means lots of things for us. First of all, it helps us build on the past. We have an incredible history, an incredible tradition for both schools, especially school of theology. We're moving up to 80 years now. Um, it's a new beginning. New beginnings, just like every new academic year, bring new faces, new ideas, new people, new energy. And Father Chris has done that already um, since July 1, since he started here. Um, and he's continuing to do that. I think also what it means for us is uh, Father Chris has a vision about getting what we do here off of the campus as well and getting it out to as many people as possible. He's got experience and expertise in this area um, with his radio ministry, his internet ministry, and that's already caught on fire with us here at the school. So we're excited. Um, we're excited to, to, to continue to fulfill our mission, um, which is to preach the message of Christ to the world. Every institution, every program can be measured as far as success is concerned, when people who have gone through it return to direct it. So he's a graduate of the schools here, and he came back to be the president. That means this institution is doing many things correctly. And let it be an example to those who listen to us that uh, all dreams and all agendas for good, blessed by the Lord, can come to fruition. I think that Father Christopher has had a huge impact already on the Orthodox Church uh, in America, and now in this new position, marrying OCN and uh, the seminary resources, I, I think it's just going to be wonderful to see what he's able to come up with to spread the Orthodox faith even more. With Father Chris's vision and his leadership, we're going to be able to really hone in on what we need as skills to go forward and preach the Word of God and preach orthodoxy across America. So Father Chris's vision and his spirit and his strength in his faith will help us strengthen our faith and move forward into the future. My Papu will have a very lovely future and I think, I don't know, maybe he'll open Lots of new rooms. Really pretty astounded right now. It's hard to actually put it all in my head. They put this beautiful medallion over my head and I didn't realize until His Eminence told me that this has all of the past presidents on it. And His Eminence actually asked me to pray for all of those past presidents because it's on their shoulders that we're literally building the school. I was thrilled to see so many people here today on behalf of the school especially the students. They were lined up in the back and that gave me great joy. Uh, there's a lot of energy in the room today and there's a lot of energy I believe for the future of this school. As we said before, it's a school that uh, centers on prayer and spiritual life of each student and then also taking the gospel and going into the world with it. So I'm very excited. I'm even more excited to see me, myself on this side of the microphone and a new person who's doing an interview in Bryce. So I wish you guys all the best as I become sort of the founding father rather than the executive director of OCN. Uh, you'll see in the, in the video uh, a lot of information that's going to come to you, probably over information if there's such a word, about today's inauguration. It was a tremendous event. We figure close to 600 people were here. And you'll hear from various people about why it's so important. I hope you'll also realize the importance of this school as the only Orthodox Christian college in the Western Hemisphere and the only Greek Orthodox seminary and theological school as well. For sure, I want to invite you to come and see this school. 
and also to send your students here, college students, as well as young men who want to study for the Holy Priesthood.